Hey guys, it's Janice Galton and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm with my best friend Myrna and we're on our way to the city. I've got some exciting news. Drum roll please. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so I'm getting a BBL. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting a BBL guys and I'm so excited. So today is my um, first time meeting my doctor who's going to be doing my surgery for me. Well, um... So I'm on my way to my consultation. Oh my god, this this phone is flying everywhere because I didn't bring my tripod or my camera. But anyways, I'm getting BBL, guys. And if you guys don't know what that is, I'll explain to you guys later in this video. So we're on our way to Double Bay at the moment, and um, yeah, I'm gonna meet with my doctor. We're gonna talk about like the procedure, and I'm gonna ask him a bunch of questions. I've wrote down like all the questions that I need to ask him and that. But yeah, so I want to film and vlog my whole experience from all the like consultations, the massage, the recovery, the actual surgery day. I just want to like cover all that. But anyway, so yeah, so this is going to be my first video about my BBL and it's the consultation day. So my appointment's at 5.45 p.m. all the way in Double Bay. Okay, now let me answer some questions that... I know you guys would want to ask where I'm going. Sorry if my phone keeps falling. It's because I didn't bring my camera or my tripod. Anyways, um, where I'm going, I'm going to this um, clinic called Cosmos Clinic all the way in Double Bay. They've done makeup with jars and BBL, etc. And um, who's doing it? I'm going with Dr. Joseph Ajaka. I think that's how you pronounce his name. But he's a really good doctor. I've seen all his results. I've done a lot of research online. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of people's like um, experience, their results, their recovery. And I'm always on the Cosmo Clinic's um, Instagram page watching all the BBLs that they do, all the results they do. They do it like nearly every day. And yeah, so I've been just like obsessing over all the results and shit. But anyways, um... So what it is, what's a BBL? So it's a Brazilian butt lift. It's where they take like an area, like a, say for example, you choose your stomach. So they take, they inject fat from your stomach. So they take it out from your stomach and they inject it to your bum. So for one, okay, I'll talk about pricing as well. So this is like a rough idea, I think, of what they've sent me. So for one area, for a BBL is $7,700. So... If you choose your, say your lower stomach, so if you choose your lower stomach, that's one area, and you inject that to your bum, that's seven thousand seven hundred dollars, and um, an extra area on top of that, like every single area you choose to do on top of that, is an extra two hundred two thousand two hundred dollars. That's what I'm pretty sure that's the pricing, but um yeah, because I want to tell you guys the pricing because I know you guys are gonna ask about that, and I know a lot of people don't really talk about pricing and all that. I'm gonna do two areas or three areas depending on what he re recommends. That's why I'm gonna talk to him and see like oh my god, my areas of concern. So my areas of concern is my tummy and my love handles. So hopefully he can fix. It. Yeah, he can fix it, but. I wonder how much it roughly will be because I know it's not going to be exactly like what they sent me on the email but that's like a rough estimate of how much it's going to cost but anyways um yeah so before you guys jump ahead and say like it's fake it's silicon blah 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 it's not they're actually using your own fat and they're just transferring it to your bum so that makes me like more comfortable and more happy because like you know I don't want silicon in my ass like you know like I've seen so many horror stories like of people saying like the silicon has flipped on their ass and shit but anyways yeah so i'm so excited i just wanted to educate the uh, i just wanted to educate you guys more before you guys like you know hop on and say all this shit saying like oh it's fake don't do that why don't you go to the gym i know i know i could go to the gym and achieve the body that i want but i know it will never be as good as a, the results as a bbl like guys you guys need to check them out they're so amazing their names the name on instagram is I'll, I'll link them below anyways it's cosmos clinic oh yeah so the reason why i'm getting this surgery i don't think so but the reason why i'm getting this surgery is for myself like it honestly is <laughs> for myself i can't take this bitch serious bro <laughs> but anyways 
Like, it's not for anyone else. Like, honestly, like, no matter what well, anyone if says. If you want to judge, go fuck yourself. <laughs> if you want to say something, go fuck yourself. <laughs> if you want to be judgmental, go fuck yourself. It's none of your business. She can do what she wants. It's her fucking body and that's it. So get the fuck out of here. <laughs> she said it. She fucking said it. But anyways, the reason why I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm going to post it. <laughs> Good dragons. Honestly, the reason why I'm doing this is because my biggest insecurity is my body. And, like, that's what's stopping me from doing, like, what I want to do in the future. Like, with all my collabs, all the, like, PR packages I get. Like, I'm too self-conscious about my body. And because, you know, like, after having a baby, I now have, a, like, a mum body. I know I regret not working out straight after giving birth. But honestly, shit happens. But anyways no but on a real note like if you guys knew me before you guys would have known that i was so skinny like i was literally really skinny it was like anorexic skinny though but anyways i went from skinny to being like really big and that's why the whole reason why i wanted to wear is so then i could be more confident within myself i could start doing more you know like pay collabs and all that shit like yeah it's a, and I know it will motivate me to maintain my body because I'm not going to spend thousands of dollars and just go and eat junk, you know what I mean? Like, it will help me, like, motivate me to maintain and to work out, you know, and to keep that body because I'm not going to go pay, like, thousands of dollars just to, you know, get fat again. But anyways, I'm just so excited. I'm so, so excited. You guys don't understand. I'm so nervous as well, but today I'm going to, like, hopefully I'm going to, like, book the day that I'm gonna go for surgery but I just can't wait to talk to my doctor because I got so many questions to ask him and yeah also yes because I know you guys are gonna ask me about consultation I had to pay $275 to go for this consultation today but if you see <laughs> she's telling me to hurry up because she wants to do something but anyways if you got, but there's two main doctors, I'm pretty sure, in the Sydney clinic because they've got clinics all over Australia. I'm pretty sure. But, anyways, for the consultation with Dr. Joseph Ajaka, it's 275 And with the Joseph Francesco, I think that's his name, that's 220 But because, like, I love both their work, but Joseph, Dr. Joseph is the main doctor. So I really want to go with him, like, to see if he's available for the day. But. Yeah, I'm going to meet him today and talk to him. Anyways, guys, I'm so excited to take you with this journey. I'm going to be really raw, very real on this whole journey. You guys are going to see my before and after video. But anyways, I'm so nervous. I'm so scared to show you guys, like, my real body. But anyways, I'm going to be really real and say the reason why I'm doing this as well is because I know, like, when I post, I know it's not about, it's not even just about Instagram, but it's about me, myself, like, when I, like, post photos, I, like, edit my photos sometimes, and I don't want to ever do that again, like, I don't want to, like, have to do that just to, you know, prove, like, you know, that's me, I want that, like, that body to be actually, fuck, I don't even know what I'm saying, anyways, guys, I'm gonna take you guys along and show you guys my journey, anyways, bye guys i'm so excited there's no lighting i'm gonna put some light here it's on the right hand side so just like park around here i found parking somewhere i'm so fucking excited oh my god i'm so nervous we're like half an hour early <laughs> what are we gonna do we'll probably go get some food yeah because there's food around look look i'll show you guys See, like, it goes slowly. Ah! Look at it. Cosmo, Cosmo. <laughs> that is the place I'm getting my surgery from, guys. Can I park here? Yeah, can you? Do you know how to park there? Maybe turn into that street. No, we have arrived at Cosmo's clinic. <gasps> so excited. Oh. <laughs> Hello, you guys. So we're just waiting. My appointment to like turn around. Show the place. Show the place. So that's the way I want you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's so much fun. So we're in the office right now. I'm so excited. We're actually so excited. And this is the room Janae's just got changed in. Wow. This is so professional. This is so exciting. Wow. Are you excited, Janae? Are you excited, Janae? Are you scared? Are you scared? You're hoping to do BBL, yeah. and you want to take out the fat from your tummy, yeah. and your lower candles. Yeah. All right, good. So you've had uh, one baby girl, two mm -hmm. year and a half year old. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the skin, it's a bit thin. Okay. Yeah. Um, we will take and take the fat out from the tummy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you'll remove the fat from this area. Okay. Regarding your skin. Hey guys. So I made my booking. I just finished out my consultation. I'm on my way home now. And guys, drum roll, drum roll, for my surgery day is 6th of August, woo! So that's my freaking surgery day, oh my god, that is so soon, that's like in, what, two months, it's June, July, August, two months, and I'm going for surgery, bro, and I just made a $550 deposit to secure my spot and my booking, and um, that will cover the cost of my garments as well for post-surgery and just i just met the doctor he was so nice i was so nervous like i didn't really know how to talk but he was like talking and he was like covering all my questions that i needed to ask so i didn't really need to ask too much questions because he was just like explaining everything and yeah he was really nice and it wasn't all it wasn't a bit awkward because i don't know i just felt so nervous and i can't believe i was meeting him like seeing him like on instagram and youtube like you know what i mean like wow i can't believe i just met my doctor like it's a big thing you know but i'm just so grateful that murder came with me today <laughs> honestly like there was a mess around with my booking today because um i done like over the phone payment when i booked for my consultation so it was like a bit of a mess around but they fit me in to see him today so we're waiting for like over an hour i know it was a mess around but it was okay but um but yeah oh my god my eyelashes brother but yeah so 6th of august is my surgery day that's when i'm gonna be thick as fuck <laughs> i'm gonna be slim thick uh, honestly i'm so excited bro but um yeah so he told me like we'll look at their different areas i'm gonna show you guys all the film and all the clips anyways but yeah so i've got to come back on in a, did he say july or june yeah july july the 23rd i think it is for my garment fitting so they're gonna they have to do the garment fitting for yeah to make an order for me but yeah i'm so excited i cannot wait i can't believe like this is actually happening like it was just a thought in my head and Every time I have something, like, when I make a decision, I make it happen. Like, I thought it wasn't going to be real because, like, you know, it's, like, a big thing. Like, I'm getting a whole BBL. Who knew I would actually get it? You know what I mean? Like, but I'm just so fucking excited. You guys don't understand. I can't believe this is real. This is happening. I've booked the surgery day. Now I've got to prepare myself for that day. And, yeah, so he gave me this folder. Hold this first minute. He gave me this folder filled with info. And, yeah! So and there was a lady there. Um, she's like a, she's like the social, the marketing person, the social media. Like, I don't know what it is, but she films as well. She said she could film my whole like, the whole document. She could document the whole thing, which is so good because they use a really good camera. And I'm also gonna be vlogging with like my own camera. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys the process and everything. And we're literally in the city. Literally, look at this. <laughs> that is the Woolworths. Um. But anyways, merit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly update you on what's happening with my surgery. There's been a change around on the day I'm actually having surgery. So the my new day of surgery is actually closer than you guys think. It's um the 6th of July, 
which is two weeks away from now. It's actually 13 days away from now, and I'm so excited. You guys don't understand. But anyways, the reason why it's closer is because they, when I was originally supposed to pay my 30% deposit, which was a week after my first consultation, there was a mess around, they said, with their new system, and they actually didn't book in, like, they didn't secure my spot for the 6th of August. So I'm like, okay, so when do you guys have, um, like, your next available? And they're like, they actually have one earlier, which is the 6th of July, so that's even better, because why not? You know, the sooner the better. My surgery is less than two weeks away now, and I am so nervous. I had to go down to the chemist today and buy this Arnica. These Arnica pills. And I've got to take one. I'm pretty sure it's one every day for two weeks before my surgery. So because it's the two-week mark, I'm going to start taking this every day. I should have bought it yesterday, but I didn't have time because I was at TAFE. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that my surgery date has changed to the 6th of um, July instead of the 6th of August and I'm so keen and happy. Anyway, so I think when was it? It was like um, when I was on the phone to them, I think it was last week, I had to pay a 30% deposit of my surgery. So I think that ended up being 3000 mm, Let me double check my emails actually. $3,630 and now um, this Saturday the rest of my surgery um, payment is due and I'm gonna be broke broke anyways <laughs> yeah I just wanted to update you guys with that and I've got my second consultation this Saturday which they're gonna do the garment fitting they're gonna take the before photos and I'm going to speak to my doctor of like more information or more questions that I have. And yeah, I'll see you guys this Saturday. The reason why I got these tablets because my doctor said it helps minimize um, bruising. So that's really helpful, especially post-op. Like I'm going to be, my body's going to be so bruised up. So this will help minimize that. And yeah, hopefully it works. Hello guys. So it is, um... Saturday the 27th of June I'm pretty sure but um what's been happening I'm so sick like my nose is so congested I have a really sore throat and my pre-op appointment is today so they're supposed to do the garment fittings today freaking the before and after photos and I'm on my period as well and this is the heaviest I've ever been TMI guys but I literally like ran straight, and it's like 9 o'clock in the morning, I ran straight to the chemist as soon as it opened. But anyways, so I got some pure honey, I got this from the grocery shop next to it, and some lemon. I'm going to make honey lemon tea. I bought some extra pads, I had to get the overnight ones, the fucking extra absorbent ones, like look at that. Oh my god. I got some Sudafed, this is for my sinus, for my nose. What else did I get? I got some strepsils to help with my throat because my throat is fucking killing. I got some vapo drops. You know, I'm trying to get better because I am not going to this appointment sick as hell. And yeah, that's about it. I think I showed everything. I'm about to take some strepsils right now. But yesterday I went to the chemist and I got this other thing and it didn't even work. Oh, direction. So let's check it out. This better work. No, oh, I should have put this first. Anyways, guys, I'm so sick and I'm gonna cry. Um, I did not sleep at all last night because that's how I know TMI, guys, but that's how heavy my freaking period was. I was fucking leaking. I like leaked three times yesterday and I had to shower like all those times. And we're at a friend's house. And fucking hell. Like, I can't even enjoy myself because I feel, like, kind of moody. And, like, you know, I'm just worried about leaking. I have to change it every, like, two hours or one hour. And it's so fucking annoying. I didn't get any fucking sleep last night. Sorry, guys, for swearing. But I'm just going to fucking cry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, so we're in the city already. 
um i feel so much better than i was like three hours ago literally i taken all my meds i had my honey lemon tea and yeah so i just dropped off zendaya to my mom's house to my brother lenny and yeah so they're going to go have lunch uh his girlfriend's work and i'm here with isaac bob say hello say hello <laughs> come on <laughs> anyways yeah so he's being my uber driver today and yeah so we're, we're like literally five minutes away from my appointment my appointment's at one o'clock it's currently what's the time like 12 30. and yeah that's right here yep right here anyways guys i'll see you guys soon i'll see you guys when i get there also don't mind the glossy look it's because of the vaseline that i put in it look how nice this car is i love this sunroof Hey guys, so I just arrived at my appointment. <laughs> so Isaac went and got food and I was just inside. I was just filling out some paperwork and I just made the payment today. So it's final, guys. Money's out of the way. And yeah, so my appointment is one week away from today. Oh, uh, well, a week and a day. And yeah, I'm so excited. I feel so much better. <sighs> so this is the area, guys. Cosmos Clinic. Come on, sit back for me. Come on, sit back for Three and three. And four and four. Just a little chop up a wee bit more, please. Thank you. And one and one. Two and two. Three and three. And four and four. Perfect. That's everything is okay. upper, lower, tummy, flanks, and then the bottom. Yeah, that's okay. all. Hey guys, so it is currently 3.27. Oh. <laughs> It is actually currently the 2nd of July. So, I just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys. I've got some exciting news. Um, my booking has changed once again. And my booking is tomorrow. So, anyway, so my booking's tomorrow. My surgery's tomorrow. So, what happened was, um, it was originally next week on Monday. Um, but my doctor rang me this morning around like 9.50 a.m. And he was like... Um, that someone cancelled for tomorrow if um if i wanted to come in tomorrow um, i was thinking oh i don't know because i feel it i'm still a bit sick but i'm not sick so i'm still coughing a bit but i was thinking i don't know because like we like i had everything planned for next week on monday like isaac's gonna take me so is gonna go to childcare, like you know like that but then i thought you know what it's better if i do it this weekend if i do it tomorrow on friday because um what's it called so then isaac doesn't have to take monday or tuesday off for work because zendaya will go to childcare those two days and he can work but and depending on like how i feel maybe on wednesday like he doesn't need to take work off as well but yeah so i thought he'll only be need to, uh, need to take work off tomorrow anyways i forgot what i just said I forgot to add that I have to fast six hours before my surgery, so I can't eat anything, drink anything. And yeah, my appointment's at nine o'clock on the third of July. It was originally the sixth of July, now it's the third of July, and I am so keen. Guys, wish me luck. I'm gonna go shave. I'm gonna go wax my brows, wax my moustache. I've got a lot of shit to do, oh my god. Uh, that's why I, like, I was so skeptical at the start because I wasn't like prepared. I'm like, you know what? Oh, wow, baby, I love it. Thank you. Yeah, it's so pretty. Go play with your Play-Doh. Oh, it's so pretty. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, that's why I was kind of skeptical because I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, am I ready for it to be tomorrow? Like, I don't even have my doggy pads, like the... Like the antibacterial wipes, I was all supposed to do it this weekend before, like, you know what I mean? 
Also, because I haven't done my blood test, I was supposed to go do that tomorrow. But um, he said it's okay. They'll just do it for me when I get there to, um, tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying it's tomorrow my surgery. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to... It's all going to kick in. I'm probably not going to sleep tonight because I'm gonna, just going to be under my mind. I am so scared. I hate injections. I hate needles. Oh my goodness. But it's okay. I went through labor. I could go through this. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. I haven't like just sat down and processed it because I've been out all day like just shopping and shit. Wow. I can't believe it's happening tomorrow, guys. I'm so nervous. I want to show you guys my before body. I'm going to show you guys that tomorrow. Oh no, I'm going to show you that tonight. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, I'm going to show you guys my before and after video so then you guys can see my fat ass rolls. But I'm so nervous. Can't believe it's tomorrow. Anyways, I'm going to go get changed and show you guys because I like the lighting in here and I like the background. <laughs> I told my girls and they were so happy, especially Haki, she's so happy, she can't believe. They want to come visit me tomorrow, but, oh my god, I better cover my freaking car details. But yeah, Isaac's not going to work tomorrow, he's going to take me, and um, I've asked Isaac's brother if he can mind some day tomorrow, because she doesn't have childcare. All the stuff I need, so I just stuck down to the shops, and I went and got some stuff for after my surgery, <laughs> so I'll show you guys. So I got some disinfected wipes, like, and antibacterial wipes to kill germs because I'm gonna be leaking a lot blood's gonna go like you know different places in the house and I also got these ones I got a big one because these are on sale so then I got that one too that was like five dollars only how good and I got some flushable wipes they only had two left and like a kids one I got some flushable wipes these ones because you know, apparently, like I saw one of these YouTube videos and they said it's important to get flushable wipes. Because you don't want to use like, you know, hard ass tissue on your bum. Like if you need to do number two. And anyways, I got these two. These are flushable wipes, but they're for kids. But they didn't have any more of this, so then I got those. And I also got... <laughs> I also got these... Um, what is this? The pee pads? Because I'm going to be leaking everywhere, so I'm going to have to... You want to hold it down? Um, I'm going to be leaking everywhere, so I need to put that on the bed when I lay down or like when I'm on the couch laying down. I'm going to be leaking a lot. And also, oh, this one's massive. This is a, a 110, hold on baby, let me show them. 110 doggy disposable pads. There's a train, look, it looks like that. Okay, oh, okay, this little one. Anyway, look at baby there. So yes, yeah, so I ran down and got those because I need them. I need to put them in the car for after my surgery tomorrow. And I can't believe it's happening tomorrow. Like, I don't really want to think about it because it's going to scare the hell out of me. But um, yeah, so I talk, they rang me and they confirmed my time for tomorrow. And my time is... 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. Alright, you put it all on the floor, baby. Get it. But don't open it, okay? So my appointment's at 9 a.m. tomorrow, guys. And I, because I was just at the shops and they called me and they said my appointment's at 9. <laughs> I don't want to think about it because it's, it's going to just kick in and I'm going to freak the hell out. But wow, I can't believe it's tomorrow. Oh yeah, also the reason why I'm also doing it tomorrow is because he said if I could come in tomorrow, they could do an extra area for me for free. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to get that free area. I'm probably going to do my arms because like... I know, that's the My arms are so fat, bro. Like, I've got such big arms. Like, I'm gonna have like a skinnier waist tomorrow, so I don't want like this fat ass, like arms. Or I might do my back fat, depending on like the area he allows me to do. So yeah, hopefully I could do that. Yeah, I can't believe it. Oh, it's tomorrow. I'm gonna go change my bed, like the bed sheets, cause my bed is all white. I'm gonna change that to like black and grey sheets. I'm just going to use mine and Isaac's like old bed covers because I'm going to be bleeding a lot. Mm -hmm. Not bleeding, but I'm going to have a lot of fluid. Anyways, 
I'm so nervous, guys. I can't believe it's happening tomorrow. No, no, baby, leave it, leave it. Go get that one, go get that one. Go get that one, no, because I need it. I'm using the toilet paper as the stand right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. So, I'm going to show you guys my before body. Please be kind to me because I am so shy about my body. I'm so self-conscious. Like, no one's seen my body except for Isaac, literally. Like, you know, it's so, like, my body now is so different compared to what I was, like, three years ago. Like, before I had today, I was actually pretty, I was really thin, you know? Like, so I went to a body that was really thin to, like, really big after, um, pregnancy. But, yeah, like, I'll be honest, like, the reason why I am big like this is because I always eat junk food. I don't eat healthy, and that's the reason why I want to get this. So, let me turn off the iPad. It's so loud, bro. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I want to get this surgery done is so then it could kickstart me to, like, motivate me to go to the gym. Obviously, I'm not going to fucking spend, like, $12,000 on a body that I'm just going to, you know, gain again. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I'm gonna, it's going to motivate me to maintain that body and eat healthier. Like, I just need that kickstart. You know what I mean? Like... And the good thing is it's all my natural fat, so they're not using anything silicon or... <coughs> Sorry, I can't really, like, talk properly because I'm hot in this, bro. Anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys more about that on my next video. But, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys, like, you know, like, all my Instagram videos, photos, those are all angles, you know what I mean? Like, so don't, like, compare my body, like, that I'm about to show you to my Instagram photos because... Girl, those, that is just lighting, angles, etc. And sometimes I'll admit, yes, I do edit my photos, but it's all like to make me skinnier. It's just like I edit my face to make it look better. But I have, in the past, edited my body before. And I never want to do that again. Like, honestly, like, that's why I'm getting this done. So then I could be like my own body goals. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of people are going to say, but you just got it done and everything. I don't care. Like, it's my body. I really don't care what anyone has to say. So if you don't want to watch this, just exit. Please. Please just exit. Anyways. I'm so nervous to show you guys my body. You guys probably already seen it in, because I'm doing this like in a one video. So I think I've showed you my body at the consultation. Anyways, I'm going to show you with a better lighting. Because that lighting made me look like a square. I am shaped like a square though. I don't know why I'm built like that. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to show you. So this is the day before. Oh my god, I look like a s fucking square. Wait. So this is my body before surgery. So I... Can you just see like that? This is what I want to get rid of. This overhead. And then they're going to make my bum like bigger like that. You know what I mean? And they're going to make me have hips. Why do I look so white? But this is my body, guys. Before surgery. And I just ate KFC, so please. This is my body before, guys. <laughs> I'm so nervous. But you know, now I've just got a big ass mum body. Oh my god, I am so embarrassed. I can't believe I showed you guys that. But this is all gonna be gone. This whole love handle. Oh my god. Well, I'm actually shaped like a box, bro. I'm just roasting myself now. So that is why I'm getting surgery, guys. Oh, I can't believe I should have just showed you guys that. Let me show you guys. Again. Hi, guys. Tell them your name. My name is Elena. 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 Yeah. Do you know what mommy's doing tomorrow? Yeah. What? Surgery. Oh. Surgery? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, surgery. 
I love you. I love you. So we're going yesterday. It's okay. Alright, <laughs> can you go out there? I'm gonna just talk to them. Okay. Hi guys. My name is Andrea and this is Mommy. Aww. Bye guys. Say bye guys. Mwah. Bye guys. Mwah. Are you gonna go watch a movie now? I'm just gonna quickly fix my room because I've got to change the bed sheets and I'll I'll come and watch a movie. Hi again. guys! Today he gonna play at the park today. <laughs> You're so cute. What did you do today, Zadel? I wanted to play at the park. Well, what did you do? You did get me some makeup bites. I did get your apricot bites. No, you didn't. You're so cute. You didn't buy me some. Oh, I forgot to buy you more, but you have apricot bites there. Yeah. You were just eating it, you fatty bum. No, I didn't. I didn't eat yours. What? You didn't eat what? I didn't eat your apricot bites. Okay, you eat, you eat it, okay? Because I don't want it. No, just eat one. Okay, okay. Save it for me after, okay? Okay. <coughs> okay. Hey guys, so I just finished having a shower, I washed my hair, and I shaved everywhere to get me ready for tomorrow. Leave my toes. <laughs> Anyways, yep, yeah, so I just shaved and I washed my hair because I won't be. I don't think I'm allowed to shower for the first 24 or 48 hours. I can't remember. My eye is red because of the shampoo got in my bloody eye. Oh my god. I think I'm going to go wax my eyebrows. But I'm going to go um change the sheets. As you guys can see, my bed is white. It's all white. Oh, is it focused? Okay. I need to change all that. I'm going to change the sheets to um like darker sheets. So then, like, because I'm going to be leaking a lot. I'm going to have a lot of fluid. And like a lot of um, a lot of don't mind that it's so messy there, but a lot of blood and that. So I've got to go change the sheets. Anyways, my room's a mess. Okay, let's go like find some sheets. I'll be back, guys. Okay, so so I just found like some grey and black sheets. <laughs> I've got to um like strip the bed. Wait, so oh. So I've just changed my bed sheets and put away my like white quilts and that. Anyways, I'll show you guys. So ta-da! Oh, is it look? So this is how it looks like, guys. This is my little setup. So this is what we're gonna be sleeping on. Had to get like dark quilts. And Jay, like my big pillows are there. I just put my pillows up there, my blanket and that there. It's all just everywhere and somewhere in my cupboard, like my other pillows are there. But yeah, this is the setup. Um, tomorrow morning I'm gonna put like the doggy, like these, the doggy pads. I'll put those doggy pads on here so when I get home I could just lay down and rest. And if, even if I leak, it'll just go on that. Anyways, um, what else do I need? Oh, I need to. I need a pack. Let me move this. I also need to pack my hospital bag. Um, I don't really need to pack much. I'm just gonna pack my charger, like my camera, um, and yeah, just little stuff. Anyways, bye guys. I'll see you guys once I pack my bag.